Hey guys, JT from Alpenflow here, and today I'm going to take you through a simple exercise setting the declination of your compass. Um, this is something that you can do at home before you set out on your trip, on your couch, wearing your favorite flannel shirt. Um, orienting your map correctly is going to be the most important skill you can learn if you're looking to navigate uh, with a map and compass. And in order to orient your map correctly, you're going to be able, to, going to need to be able to adjust for the declination, magnetic declination, which is the difference between magnetic north and true north. Maps are oriented towards true north typically, um, and magnetic north is what your compass is going to point towards. What your uh, compass needle is going to direct you to. So you need to be able to adjust for the differences in those two north measurements to be able to orient your map correctly once you get out into the field. Okay, so here we're looking at a printed Cal Topo map of the south side of Mount Hood. And we can see the Timberline Lodge is here and we have some other markers called out on our map. Um, we're gonna focus right now on the map legend down here at the bottom of the map and specifically the magnetic declination, which is called out here. So you can see that there's an arrow here for north, that's true north, and then there's another arrow over here for magnetic north. When we're looking at our compass, we're gonna see that we have our direction of travel arrow up here, our bearing wheel here, and then inside this little red shed um, is our orienting arrow. And this here is our magnetic needle that points toward magnetic north. Um, now right now you can see that the bearing wheel here and the doghouse, the orienting arrow, are lined up with each other. That means the declination is zero. So if you were to put the magnetic needle inside of the orienting arrow, the compass would be pointing towards magnetic north. And we want to adjust that so that the compass is pointing or this uh, north arrow here is pointing towards true north. So we're going to adjust the difference to match, adjust the declination to match our, uh, our map legend here. So when our compass is set correctly, this no true north marker here on the bearing wheel will be 15 degrees to the left of the orienting arrow. We're gonna adjust the compass. This compass uses a really tiny flathead screw and it, it comes with this dinky little adjuster here. So I'm gonna put our adjustment in there and turn it. And we just need to um, turn it a little bit to figure out which direction to go. Gonna turn that and that's gonna change that adjustment and we can met we can see how much we've changed it by looking down here at the bottom of the compass. So we have 0, 10, 20 degrees and this will tell us that it's east declination um, which means that magnetic north is to the east of true north which is what we want. So we'll go back here Set this to 15 degrees. Okay, and once that's set, as we compare our compass here to the legend of our map, we see that the map has magnetic north to the east of true north by 15 degrees, and our compass, the orienting arrow here, is to the east of true north on the bearing wheel by 15 degrees as well. And we can check that degree measurement down here. So our declination is set, and now we can use that to orient our map. So if we wanna orient our map correctly, all we have to do is place the compass on top of the map, make sure that the lines on the inside of the dial here are aligned with the edge of the map. And then we just turn our map until the needle 
goes inside the house. And now our map is oriented correctly. And that's a skill that we'll use all the time when we're in the field. That's how you set declination and orient your map. Be really conscious of having you know, a phone or any other metal objects around your compass when you're trying to take measurements. That will, that'll affect it. And happy navigating.